Hey, this is Swedish Tornod, and today I'm gonna demo an amp. It's this really cheap and uh, interesting custom Solo 16. And uh, yeah, the 16 probably stands for that it's a 16 watt amp. That's a kind of unusual thing, so I'm gonna say it's 15. And it won't make that much of a difference. Uh, it's very simple. I'm gonna show the top to you. You have a, a auxiliary in, CD, tape, iPhone, whatever. You have a guitar in, you have a headphone out. You have two channels, the rhythm channel and the lead channel. The, the rhythm channel only has a volume level and the lead channel has gain and volume. And there's a button to select between the channels. You can't, there's no external, uh, any, like you can't use an external foot pedal to change the channels, which is really bad. And uh, there's no effects loop, which is bad as well. So, and then you have the regular EQ thing. You have low, mid and high, which is bass, middle and treble, mid range and treble. It uses an eight inch speaker. It's a super eight, it's an actual Celestian speaker. Uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, the thing is, you'll hear it later, I don't think the cabinet is m really dimensioned for the speaker, so yeah, you'll get here. It doesn't doesn't sound very good. And yeah, I've talked a lot about uh, solid state amps and uh, how I think a lot of times they are designed wrong. And this is an example of a, where a solid state amp is designed wrong. Because the rhythm channel uh, is supposed to mimic a tube amp, and why? When you have a solid state amp, a state amp, why don't keep it a solid state amp and use all the benefits of a solid state amp? For instance, that you can have high volume and still have a clean sound. Well, no, you can't with this one. Because if you turn the level up on the rhythm channel, it starts to break up like a tube amp. Because they are, of course, mimicking a tube amp. Uh, it's a shame. Because it would be really nice to have a really loud, clean sound with this amp. And then you can use like your own distortions and multi-effects into it. You can't do that now. Okay, I'm going to show you the rhythm channel. And I'm first, everything, the EQ will be like straight up on all of them. So like 5 out of 10. And uh, yeah, I'll start with the rhythm channel at at 3 out of 10, somewhere, like 9 o'clock on the dial, yep. Turn it up halfway. Full Blast.
so yeah, as you can hear, it breaks up very much like a tube amp. Uh, I'm going to show you when you what happens if you turn down the volume on the guitar. That could be interesting, since we're comparing it to a tube amp. <laughs> You see, you get the exact same response as you would with a tube amp. It cleans up very nicely. Okay, let's go to the lead channel. I'm gonna start with the lead uh, gain at half. So it'd be like five out of 10, straight up. Now we run into problems because uh, it can handle the low notes. So it can handle the low notes, but it can handle like the when you mute, it's like you get a, like subsonic, <laughs> even lower notes, and the amp just can't handle it at all. And now we're at just halfway, as I said, it's not full gain at all. Uh, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna show you what happens. So there we go. <laughs> You can see it's like doesn't sound very good. So what I think I'll do now, instead of keep going because it can only get worse, I'm gonna show you another feature of this one. Because what it has, it doesn't have an effects loop. It doesn't have uh, something so you can use a uh, pedal to change channels. But it does have an external speaker out. It's very strange and uh, kind of interesting. So I'm gonna plug it into my four by twelve see what it does to that and see yeah and then it'll be less problems with the low notes i suppose so here again with the gain at halfway <laughs> You can hear it's something with the amp. It does something to the low notes. It just mushes them up. Uh, I'm gonna turn up the gain. Now it's at full. <laughs> Uh, just since I've plugged it into 4x12, I'm gonna switch back to the rhythm channel so you can hear the cleaner sounds. And finally, I'm gonna adjust the EQ because, yeah, it has to me too much bass. So I'm gonna turn down the bass and maybe add some treble, the highs and lows. <laughs> So here the gain is at um, yeah seven and a half out of ten, and I've turned up both the mid and the high and turned down the lows. So then you get this kind of sound for a four by twelve. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, there you have it, the Custom Solo 16. And it's a shame you can't really use the amp as it is. Because when you uh, turn up the gain, it just can't handle no low notes at all. I don't know if this is a problem with just my amp. Uh, if you have one of these, just leave a comment and tell me if you have the same problems. But on the other hand, if you plug it into a 4x12 or something bigger, Sounds kind of massive, and this is a super mega cheap amp. If you buy these juice, you can almost get them for free. I got mine for free. It came with a guitar that I bought, so... Yeah, I could gig with this if I had to. No problem. Okay, hope you found this useful. This has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd demoing the Custom Solo 16. See you soon. Bye.